Cat. It's Maximus here. This time with a quick review of this Master Mechanic 6-inch flush, uh, quarter-inch hex flex extension. It caught my eye because if you've ever worked with uh, CNC machine tools or been in a, around any kind of factories where they have machines that require coolants, they have these weird flexible interlinking hoses that look just like this. And so that's what kind of caught my eye. Coolant lines on CNC machines. But this actually has a steel cable run through the center of it. So it's a flex shaft. What also caught my eye is that I have flex shafts, flex shafts and some screwdrivers. They're like these style, which are, you know, a heavier duty kind of steel cable. But the issue is these only have 30 degrees of bend. If you go beyond that, it permanently bends them. I also have right angle adapters, but sometimes they're just a little bit funky. They have some big heads. you got to get a bunch of accessories. So I thought this thing might be handy just for the reason that it can just easily do 90 degrees. You can even do a jog like this. And there's been many times which that's exactly what I needed. I do, had a screwdriver long enough, but I'm just not able to get a straight angle against the faster, really risking stripping it out. So using something like this could be a better alternative. Main China. I don't think this thing is impact rated, but if you're in a situation, use an impact on it and uh, <laughs> it may or may not last. No warranty mentioned on it, but probably just a standard true value warranty, but I still kind of like the idea of something like this. So as far as how stiff it is, it seems to be okay. Certainly it spins pretty freely when it's straight. When you have it at 90 degrees, there's still quite a bit of friction. So this is the kind of thing where you're going to want to spray some lube down in there to get it to turn as freely as possible. You know, the manufacturing, the, the forging here, just, yeah, it's okay, but it's kind of, you know, Chineseium. It's not that great. Not super high quality. Let's see how stiff it seems. I got an adapter and a socket. We'll just see. Oh, man. Well, I was really hoping that you could really use this. Uh, if you use an impact with this, it'll probably snap. So this is actually not for breaking screws. I can already tell just by the minimal amount of torque how much this thing is wanting to flex, that I could probably just break this just with my hand using this hand screwdriver uh, pretty easily. So this is actually not for breaking screws unless they're not very tight. Uh, it would really be for running fasteners in and out of a tight space. So kind of a disappointment. I only spent five bucks on it. I wasn't expecting it to be super strong, but I wasn't expecting it to feel quite this weak. I mean, this is pretty darn weak. If I compare that to, say, this thing, actually I need to set this up this way, and I know this is a 3 8 not a quarter inch version of all these extensions, but something like this, you really feel it. And so even though it only can bend 30 degrees, you feel much more connected. I can put a whole lot more force on that. You can just see how it's, uh, the socket in my hand, how it's stretching my skin, how tight I'm holding this, and if I held this thing with the same amount of force I would snap it without a question this thing would just immediately fail this thing whoop plus the hex falls out pretty easy this thing I can only have just about that much force really a pretty light grip how I'm using it and you can just see how it just wants to wobble one way or the other so this thing seemed neat but unfortunately it's really just too weak, which is what often happens with objects like this. You know, when manufacturers come up with ideas like this, don't try to race to the bottom and make them so cheesy. Make it so something that might actually be usable for breaking fasteners where somebody might be able to get some real work done with it, not make a kind of gimmicky product that ends up being so weak that you can break it just with a hand screwdriver. That's a little absurd. Shame on you, True Value. Anyway, really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out.